Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it's basically going to be an all things home video. Everything that we have been up to the past couple of months that I've been filming, I figure I would just put in one big video because I know the home updates haven't been like totally consistent. So I figured I would just put all the footage that I have on my camera that I never uploaded, some like a never before seen stuff, I guess, that we've been working on in our house is gonna be in today's video. A haul is gonna be in today's video. Two room makeovers, some organization, just like a bunch of home centered content. I swear I have so much footage like on my camera, on my memory card, my phone. My hair has changed like I wanna say like three times throughout the video. It's a lot, but you have to let me know if you like the idea of this. If that sounds like something you're interested in, if you wanna hang out with me, I guess technically for the past couple of months, <laughs> then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, starting off strong with an Amazon haul. First thing I got were these black candlesticks. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, perfect for fall and Halloween. Then in the next box, I got these picture frames. I really wanted to put them in the dining room cabinets. I thought that could be really, really cute. And then I picked up this glass, like hurricane vase that I plan on putting these candles inside. I think they're really, really pretty and it would just give a nice ambiance. And then I picked up this trevet, which I'll get into later in the video. We are in the breakfast nook over here. And today is the last day that the breakfast nook is gonna be looking like this because we are getting all new chairs. We're getting a new rug, maybe a new centerpiece. Like we are really gonna make over this area. I've talked about before that these chairs are so difficult to clean. I don't know if it's the material, it's kind of like this velvet material or it's just the black color, but it's just dingy at this point because I have scrubbed, like I've used Dawn dish liquid, all the things to really get these chairs clean. So they're starting to even fade up here where I've been scrubbing. They just gotta go, definitely. I would say I regret purchasing them, but like how was I supposed to know that it was gonna be so hard to clean? So anyway, we are going to make over this area. We're getting new chairs in the mail and a new rug, like I said. We're just gonna spruce it up and clean it. And I'm honestly, thrilled so let's get into the breakfast nook makeover okay you guys ignore the dining room rug that needs to be replaced as well but the new breakfast nook rug has arrived clearly all rolled up so you can't tell what it looks like but I'm gonna link everything down below anyway and we're about to unroll it Rob's gonna cut this thing open we're gonna switch out the rug because the rug that we have in there now you guys hold on let me just show you like the real tea because this rug it was supposed to be washable, right? It was labeled as washable. I should have put a rug pad, sure. But can you see? I'm not going to get too close because it, it is really embarrassing. The stains are ridiculous. And we tried to wash it and it didn't come up. And it just looks so dingy now. And the good thing about this rug is that it wasn't expensive. So I don't feel too bad replacing it. It is a little bit small for this space as well. So the one that I just showed you is larger. It has more of like a pile. Like it's not as flat as this one. So I think maybe that'll be easier to clean because I don't know I can really get in there I don't know so we'll just see hopefully the the rug that I just purchased and this one are both very very affordable so if it doesn't work out I don't feel like completely gutted to replace it so bye bye old dingy rug you guessed it go <laughs> Wait, 
where I'm at on my own Had a couple blocks in the road But I get to the bag on the loan I be kinda sex while they grow, yeah Oh my god Hold on Okay, come right. on One, yeah. two, three Oh my god, I can't pick it up I can't pick it up Hold on, hold on I can't pick it up I cannot pick it up Oh my god I'm not trying to be funny All I right. can't lift it Oh my god, ow! Are you okay? My shoulders hurt. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I cannot Try to lift, lift that it. in. This is way heavier. Oh my god, I can't, Rob. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't, don't worry about it. We'll get it, um, we'll get it right. Oh my god, that thing is heavy. <gasps> Wait, how are you able to lift that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got some for you when we get home. Okay, you guys, so I had to get a moment for these chairs. I love these chairs so much. I think they look incredible. So this is kind of a close-up. I will have them linked down below. I love the cane backing, the black, the cushion. This is a, it's something better than a high performance. It's not high performance. It's something I completely, oh, it's cryo something material. It's supposed to be very, very powerful. Very, very easy to clean. But we also got these plastic covers, which I'll show you all. But I think they just look so good i absolutely love them in the breakfast snug like this just looks way more like i don't know just updated like it just looks really really good all we have to do yet is straighten out the frames singular we <laughs> that's rob and then add a centerpiece and probably just like clean off the walls a little bit there's some scuffing back there but this is what it's looking like so far and i absolutely love it and this is the new breakfast snug the new and improved breakfast snug i will have everything linked down below but the these are the plastic covers that I was telling you about. They have come in handy. We've had them now for, I wanna say a little over a month and we have not had any spills on the chairs. Even though the chairs themselves are like a super duper high performance, I don't wanna risk it. I think the previous breakfast nook chairs really traumatized me, so I'm not chancing it. I absolutely love how this area turned out. I'm so excited about it. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you this new kitchen find. I actually have a couple kitchen finds that I wanted to share. This first one is a cheese grater, and you guys, it's marble. Like, are you kidding me? This is like the cutest thing ever. I cannot get over this. I think it's so cute. Not only that, but like, of course, we need a cheese grater if you love cheese like I do. I love to add Parmesan cheese to like pastas, salads. I don't know, to me, Parmesan cheese, like it's so thin, especially when you grate it up in this that like adding it on a salad i don't know those cheese calories don't really count <laughs> in my mind because the cheese is so like light and airy almost so i love this it slides out like this this part here is obviously like the greater part cheese collects in the bottom of this like marble collector i just think this is the most cutest thing ever it's aesthetic but it's also functional if you're a cheese lover and i just love this like it's the little things the girls that get it get it if you love all your stuff to be aesthetic aesthetic you need this like this is too cute to me okay and then another kitchen find are these treves i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it basically if you have and i just finished filming for instagram so i have this little prop here <laughs> this little pot prop but you just literally put it here like if you have like boiling water or maybe you just made soup and you want to take it off of the stove because you, it's done cooking but you want to put it someplace instead of putting it on your count on your counter you can put it here on the trevet and i love it too because it's technically you could put it like this and have it be one trevet or you could separate it if you have a larger pot you could put one here and then you could put one on this one as well i would just be mindful if your things are like super duper hot because this part is going to be open so like if the steam i don't know you just have to be careful if you have like certain countertops that are more sensitive mine's definitely not so this will be fine i love this this is just a cute 
cuter, more like chic way to <laughs> put your pots over on a trevet. Usually I would have a, like a knit one. Like I kind of have like a fabric one that I put down and honestly, like it really doesn't prevent the heat from transferring. So I think this is gonna be genius because it's solid, it's marble. So I'm just really, really excited about this. I think it's super cute. I love the idea. It goes with the kitchen perfectly, like 10 out of 10. And then I also have this spoon rest here. This is another marble find. These are all just like marble items for the kitchen. I've had this for a while. I'll link it down below. Again, it's for the aesthetics. You could have any spoon rest, but like if you can get a marble one, why not? And then I also have this rolling pin here. I've shared this in an Amazon haul video, but I just wanted to share it again because I'm sharing all the marble little goodies in my kitchen. So yeah, I just really, really like this. I think this is super chic. I love the black and the white like marble striped. I think it's just so cute. Like I said in that Amazon video, I'm not the best baker. I mean, I can do a little bit of something. Actually, you know what? My peach cobbler is 10 out of 10, but that doesn't require a rolling pin. So as far as like pies or anything like homemade cookies that you actually need a rolling pin for, I'm not the best. But because I have this, I'm like, I feel like I need to come up with a recipe. I feel like I need to get on Pinterest and use this rolling pin because it is just so good. Okay, you guys, we are back at my mom's house and we are making over her dining room. We actually filmed this in partnership with the Home Depot. So everything that you see in this room is from the Home Depot. They have such amazing pieces. This part is not sponsored, but I've worked with them a bunch and I love all their pieces. I love working with them. Great company, great team, great products. It's a win-win for me. So we're just adding in the decor in my mom's room. I'm gonna let some music play out so you can just like sit back and watch this, but I'm really happy with it. My mom is super happy with it. We're very thankful that we're able to do this for her. And it's just so sweet. Like every time we make over her room, like a room in her house, she's so thankful and she's so excited about it. So yeah, really love this one. I long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling Remember everything you said This is a safe zone, right? Because when you see all this glassware, you're going to probably be concerned for me. No, I do not have a problem. Actually, maybe I do. I have so many different glasses, stemware, drinking glasses, like all the things, and it just had to get organized. I also needed to restock this beverage fridge and it turned out looking really, really nice. There is a surplus of stemware and glassware. I'm not gonna lie, like it is what it is. I like them, I think they're cute. I love making little fancy drinks in them and like having like tea and it's just like a moment for me. It makes me happy. So I just had to organize it so it didn't look too crazy. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it. I really hope you all enjoyed this all things home video. And yeah, you guys, with all that being said, we, all this <laughs> home content, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.